today. I am getting a shoe that I have waited six years to get. So let's get into it, baby. What is going on guys? We are back with another YouTube video and today, like I said, we're gonna be getting a shoe that I've waited like six years, maybe five, I don't know exactly, but we're gonna be going and getting those today. I got a call that a shop has them. I'm super, super stoked and I'm actually gonna be trading. Hopefully they will take my trades, but I am not banking on it. Like I'll still buy the shoe regardless, but I'm gonna see if they can do some trades just so I can save a little bit of money. So yeah. So first we are gonna be seeing if they will take these. I guarantee they will. Um, I I just hit these actually on the Adidas app. I already have foam runners and I was gonna save these and just keep them on ice until my pair gets blown out. But I really want these shoes today and I don't wanna spend the money on them. So we might be getting rid of these, but I already have a pair so it's not the end of the world. Also, I hit on the Adidas app again today. I haven't hit anything like for like three years and all of a sudden I'm just hitting every release. Uh, I also hit the uh, Yeezy 350 Bone, the all white ones. I hit those today uh, and then I'm gonna be trading I don't know probably not gonna get much for these but it's worth a shot help save your boy a little bit of money All right, so let's go. Let's go buy some shoes today, baby boys. It's literally like a hundred and five degrees out It is not the day to be wearing jeans and a beanie, but what, what do I do now? It's too late. You know when you get in your car and it's super hot outside and you touch that seat belt like lever and it's like ridiculously hot but i have a manual car with a metal shift knob okay so every time i go to shift this car my fingers just get fried like i like watch how i have to shift it i have to shift i have to shift it like i'm holding like chopsticks ow like i'm not even being dramatic bro this shit is so hot dude Okay, so we just hit the gas station. Very, very ghetto, sketchy gas station, but they did have Prime. So we're gonna be trying the new Bomb Pop Prime flavor. I'll let you know, I'm not the biggest fan of Prime because it's really, really sweet, but some of the flavors are good, so. Oh. It's good, it's very sweet, it tastes good. I don't know if it tastes like a Bomb Pop, or ice pop, but it's pretty good. Uh, it's it's sweet. I'll give it like a 7.5 out of 10. All right, we're here. BVA percent, yes sir. Here we're inside. Apparently they're in the back waiting for me, waiting for you to clean them. Me clean what? Where are they? Oh. Is it? Is it? Is it? Oh, oh, here we go. Here we go. I need to do some legit checking. Yo, are these fake? Well, I'd be trash. Yeah. Nope. Yeah. What do we What do we think on these, huh? What do we think? Valid? Haven't even bought them yet. She's like, oh my God. Now we have to legit check them because the last pair that I bought, I don't know if you guys watched the video or not, but the last pair that I bought was fake. So I'm going to have to legit check these and triple check if they are real, even though they are from a store. This is something I usually do is just legit check them. Anyway, we are legit checking them now. I trust DVA percent. I used to work here. So I trust them with, with any shoes that I buy from here, but it's just like a superstition head thing. Cause the last pair I bought was fake. So I like in my mind, I like have to legit check them, but uh, we're going to be getting these for a steal. Hopefully they'll take my trades, but I think these look good to me. They look good on the black light size tag looks good. Shape looks good. Everything checks out. If you guys are are a sneakerhead or if you want to be like a reseller definitely do your homework when it comes to uh, legit checking shoes because that is a big big deal if you're a reseller you can ruin your reputation if you sell a few fakes people aren't gonna trust you people aren't gonna want to buy from you also with you if you're gonna be spending four hundred five hundred a thousand dollars two thousand dollars on a pair of shoes you want to a hundred percent make sure they're legit so legit checking is something that I got very good at when I was reselling and when I worked here I was buying shoes for the store so I had to legit check them so I got very very good at it all right uh, uh, we got them cleaning them now so they're in tip top shape because they literally bought them and then uh one of the workers called me asap because he knows i've been wanting that shoe forever I'm about to see if he'll run the trade yes or no but cali wants to get these what do we think on these the new travis trainers i think these are really cool not personally my style but i think they are pretty cool and i think they look cool on like her just her being a girl girls don't really wear stuff like this maybe they do i don't know okay behind the scenes i want my shout out he wants a shout out but for what you know 
<laughs> we are running the trade back here instead of being out on the floor. We got exclusive VIP access. Boy, if you don't get 150 on these and 150 on these. 150, even, even 300. Look, look, look how clean they are. Look how clean. Look at the bottom. Look how clean they are. Bro, yeah, I didn't clean them before I came because I was bro. Damien calls me while I'm getting in the shower. I gotta come here ASAP. We're gonna do 150 each, 300. I'll add 20. What? <laughs> Bag secured. I'm gonna catch you guys at home. All right, we are back and we got the bread toes. Oh. Black toes. If you guys watched uh, a few videos ago, I actually bought these from a store. Uh, I bought them online from a store and they shipped them to me and they ended up being fake. So this is kind of like a follow up, I guess, to that video. Um, I'm not gonna say the store, I did get my money back, like I said, but unfortunately I did have to ship the fake Jordan 1 black toes back. So I could not make a video destroying them, which that is literally like what I wanted to do so bad. But uh, unfortunately we couldn't do that. So so I ended up getting these today for $350, which is a, a decent price. It's pretty good. Uh, these brand new go for six to 700 in my size. Smaller sizes slash bigger sizes are going from 800 to 1,000. So 350 for these is not bad at all. They are worn, yes, but they are very, very, very clean. And now I have my full set completed. We now have the breads, Chicago's, and black toes and then bread toes royals unc's and shadows so now i have literally pretty much all the og colorways i know there still is a few that i'm not a hundred percent like don't a hundred percent have but to me these are the best og colorways in my in my personal opinion what pick a flavor huh? <laughs> Ooh, look, that's what we like to see. Yes, sir. We ended up trading the Yeezy Foam Runner Onyx, I think is how you say it, the black. I got those for retail. I valued at 150, so I made profit on those. And then the Carmine Sixes, I valued them at 140, so which was a little bit low, but they were worn. And I think I only paid 140, 150 for them just because they were literally at the Nike outlet. So I think that's a W. We got this shoe for actually cheaper than 350 because I made money on the two shoes that I traded. So for any of you guys wanting to know, how do you build a sneaker collection? How do you start a sneaker collection? How do I flip shoes? How do I, do? this is how, like I'm showing you guys in real time. Uh, I, I like bringing my camera along with me to show you guys how I do it and show you guys how you guys can do it as well. Because anybody could go out and buy this shoe for $700, $800, $1,000, dollars whatever, or you can do it how I did it, and then you come out of pocket a lot less and you get the shoes that you want, and they're not fake. I mean, that's pretty much it. I'm super excited I finally have these, and these kind of have a story behind them now too, because I bought a pair, they ended up being fake, I shipped them back, and then like a couple weeks later, I ended up getting them. So it's kind of cool. Literally, I was about to get in the shower this morning, and one of my friends that works at DVA Percent called me and was like, yo, get down here right now. I got your size, black toes, I know you want them, come get them. So he didn't even clean them yet. That's why he was cleaning them in the video. Uh, he had just bought these. So absolutely insane. And I'm super glad I finally have this sneaker that I've been waiting on for six years, maybe five. I don't know. But yeah, I, I'm super stoked. And that being said, I love you guys so, so much. Everybody that watches the premieres every time, I love you. You guys are amazing. Follow my Instagram right here. Okay, I'll see you in the next video. All right, bye.